praise the Lord and good morning and welcome into Friday morning's uh, devotion. I'm so glad you with me this morning. I hope you've been with me over the past, uh, really the past few uh, devotions that we've had last week and of course this week. We've been talking about uh, using the account of the woman that has the issue of blood and we've been talking about a time that the Lord Jesus appeared to Brother Hagin and told him uh, in regards to this particular account here, how that anybody can do what this woman with the issue of blood did and receive whatever it is that they have need of in their own personal lives. So whether it's healing for your body like it was for her or for a financial need, uh, looking for a job, you know, whatever it is that you are are, are needing, see, if you apply these four steps that the Lord Jesus gave to Brother Hagen, then you, of course, can receive your miracle just as this, this woman did. You know, uh, the title that Brother Hagen used in that little mini book was How to Write Your Own Ticket uh, with God. And what that simply means is you're pretty much, you're writing uh, your own prescription and you're writing pretty much uh, how to take it and everything and then receive the, the benefits of it, you know, so to speak. And, um, and of course, those steps were when, when the Lord Jesus spoke to Brother Hagen about that, he just simply told him, he says, if people would say it, do it, tell it, or receive it and tell it, then they could receive whatever it is that they have need of based on the Word of God and this account of the woman with the issue of blood. So we know that she first said something. She said, if I may touch but the hem of his garment, she says, I shall be whole. She didn't make, you know, mix words there or anything. She just said, I'm going to receive healing for my body that I've been in need of for 12 years. I'm going to receive it, and I'm going to receive it today when I touch the hem of his garment. So see, she made this great faith statement, you know, and she made this faith statement as a result, first of all, of what she heard, see. She had heard about Jesus. She had heard that he was healing people, that many people were healed of sicknesses and diseases because uh, of his, the power of God that was in, that was on him. So she needed and wanted healing so bad that she was willing to do whatever was necessary to receive it. So she sees this great crowd coming to her and or around Jesus and in the area where she was. And, you know, she this crowd was actually was a hindrance to her because it made it difficult to get to Jesus, you know. And, you know, when she touched him, Jesus asked, who touched me? And his disciples, you know, told us, well, how can you say that? What do you mean by that anyway? You know, look at all the crowd and the people that are bumping into you. There's... There's no telling how many people has actually touched you. But see, he was wanting to know who touched him in a different way. See, those people that were bumping into him and just touching him accidentally, there was no expectancy to receive anything. But see, this woman had already made a great faith statement. And now, see, there was an expectancy within her that she was going to receive what it is that she was believing in her heart and saying with her mouth. So first of all, she said it. And then she did something. In other words, she put some works with her faith because the Bible says faith without works is dead. And we keep using that translation that says faith without corresponding action is dead. In other words, friends, we sometimes people think we just need more faith. Well, friends, it doesn't matter how much faith you have. If you're not willing to put some corresponding action with that faith, then it's, you're, you're, it's just going to lie dormant, in essence, and you're not going to see or reap the benefits. So she made this great faith statement, and then she found her way through that crowd. She did what was necessary. It doesn't say how long it took her to get through this crowd, but her mind was set, and she just kept going and finding her way, and finally uh, reaching through the crowd and touching the hem of his garments. You know, and I mentioned that it's very possible that she was actually down on her hands and knees at this point, trying to get through this crowd because the hem of his garment would have been down around where his ankles was. So it's very possible that to get to him, the difficulty, but she was so determined, she went through and reached out and she touched him. And when she did so, she received that healing power 
uh, that was on the Lord Jesus into her. So she had done three of these uh, these points right here. She had done three of these. Uh, she said it. She did something, and now she has received it. Well, there is one last point, see, that we're supposed to do, and we're supposed to tell people. We're supposed to testify to what God did in our lives, see, in our bodies, on our job situations, in our relationships, in our marriage, you know. Whatever it was, we're supposed to to tell about it. See, we're supposed to, uh, in essence, testify to that. You know, let me read a verse of scripture to you here in Psalms 105. The first two verses, he says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Now watch this. Make known his deeds among the people. Now see, friends, here's the psalmist under the direction of the Holy Spirit saying, we need to make his deeds known among the people. Well, how do you do that? You have to tell them. You have to talk about it, see, to make his deeds known. <clears throat> the second verse says, Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Now watch this. Talk ye of his wondrous works. In other words, we need to talk about his wonderful works. We need to talk about what he's done for us in the past. We need to talk about what he's doing for us now. We need to talk about what we know he's going to do in our future, you know, based on what we know the Word of God says about our future. So see, friends, it's very important, see, that we talk about what God has done for us. And see, one of the number one reasons that we're doing this, friends, is because it helps others, see, to be able to receive, you know, to know about it and to be able to receive what they have need of if we're telling them and talking about it. So step four is to tell it. And this woman, it says here in Mark chapter five, back in our um, our main text that we've been on for these last four, or the last three, and this one, we're gonna be concluding this part of, of this uh, little, little series here that we've been talking about, about these four steps to take to receive whatever it is you need from God. <clears throat> So the last one is to tell it. So right here in Mark chapter 5 and verse 33, it says that she, knowing what was done in her, she came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. You know, she was probably a little uneasy. She might have been frightened to some degree. But you know, she stayed right there. And when he says, who touched me? She was there to admit, I'm the one that touched you. And you remember Jesus says, daughter, thy faith hath made you whole. He didn't say that Jesus' faith made him whole. It says, daughter, thy faith hath made you whole. Your faith and your corresponding actions and you receiving this, see, that's what's caused you to, to have this. Daughter, thy faith, see, hath made you whole. And it says here that this woman told him all the truth. She shared with him uh, her dilemma, how that she had been had this issue of blood, this sickness for 12 years, and how that she had been to every doctor and spent all of her money, and instead of getting better, she was gradually just getting worse all the time. She told all of this, but then she also told him that she said, I heard about you coming. I heard about what you had been doing. I heard that a lot of people have been healed from sicknesses and diseases, and I needed that so much myself. That, I, that that built faith in me, so I said, I made the statement, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. So she told him that, and she said, so I found my way through the crowd, and I reached out, and I touched you, and I received my healing. She told him this. Now, friends, Jesus wasn't the only one that heard this testimony. This entire crowd, see, because uh, you know this got everybody's attention when he turned around and they found this woman who touched him, you know. You probably could have heard a pin drop. It was so quiet there. So Lord knows how many people actually heard this, but not just Jesus, but many people heard her testify of what was what was done in her. So that's a, that's a wonderful thing. But again, friend, the reason we're supposed to tell it, the reason we're supposed to testify as to what God did for us is because, friends, it helps others believe. 
and then it helps them receive what it is that they may have need of in their own personal lives. So this woman said what she believed, and then after that, she received, and then she told what had happened to her. She said it, she did it, she received it, and now she's testifying to it. She's telling it. So see, friends, what this means is that any believer in using the title of Brother Hagin's little book, that little mini book, any believer can write their own ticket of victory over the world, over sickness and disease, over the devil, over anything, see, over a financial situation. Any believer can write their own ticket with God by simply going through these steps that this woman with the issue of blood. So, but here's, here, now see, notice what happened to this woman as a result of what she did. Because she said it, and she did something, she received it, and she told it. That's what brought healing to her. Well, friends, what if she hadn't have done these things? Well, she would not have received, see. And see, that's what we've got to understand. We have a responsibility. There's something that we need to do as believers. We can't leave it all up to God. We do have something that we have to do. We have to have corresponding action hooked up to our faith to enable us to receive what we have need of. So see, many people are wasting their time praying, oh God, heal my body. God, heal, find me a job. God, do this. God, do that. Well, they're wasting a lot of time and energy praying that way because the Bible already tells us how to receive what it is we need from God. We need to write our own ticket with God simply by doing what this woman with the issue of blood did. Because if it'll work for her, friends, it'll work for us. God is no respecter of persons. Thank you for being with me this morning. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I sure hope to see you Sunday. God bless all of you today.